just like that. So you guys can see, look at this coil over, it just straight fell apart. That is not good, guys. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is up guys? Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If you're new to that channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. On today's episode, we're gonna be sh showing you guys how to install coilovers on an S14 240SX. Most cars are pretty similar. S13, S14 are pretty much identical and even other cars will be like a similar process. But I'm gonna show you on this car because I need new coilovers and I happen to get a new set that I'm gonna install. So I'll show you guys what's up with mine right now. We're gonna jack it up so you can see why I'm replacing these and then show you guys how to install them. So let's get started guys. Before we get started with this video guys, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Car Gazette. They uh, sent us one of their monthly subscription boxes. See what's in the box. Fast and the Furious air freshener, 350Z sticker, a cool little poster, natural orange, microfiber washed um, to clean your microfiber towel that they included as well. So two t-shirts, sick. Well, thank you Car Gazette. Really appreciate this care package. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave their link to the website in the description down below. But let's get back to today's video, guys. So tools you're going to need, or I recommend, a uh, half inch ratchet to take off the wheels, 3 8 ratchet, um, 14 millimeter, 17 millimeter, and a 19 millimeter socket. Maybe an extension, 14 millimeter gear wrench, 3 8 uh, cordless impact really helps speed the job up and a crescent wrench. So we're gonna start off jacking up the front and taking off the wheels. So this is the reason I'm replacing my coilovers. These front ones were blown, but recently I jacked it up and realized they're like super blown. Like this is a normal, the whole coilover is falling apart. The piston is like coming out of the coilover basically. Yeah. You can see that is not normal. First step, unbolt the 314s on both uh, shock towers. Second step, uh, unbolt these two 17s from the coilover holding it to the knuckle. This is usually where I crack them loose with a ratchet and then I'll hold this with the crescent wrench and just zip them off with a gun. So once you got the bolts loose, kind of lift it up to kind of pull out the bolt holding it through, just like that. So you guys can see, look at this coilover just straight fell apart. That is not good guys. I was drifting on this and driving it to Apple Valley Speedway, so. Good thing we caught that. Good thing we were able to get some new coilovers. All right, so once you have the bottom unbolted, then you can fully take off these nuts. At this point, make sure you hold the bottom of the coilover because it's just gonna fall out because this is the only thing holding it on. Oh, just like that. If you had the coilover, that would be it to remove it. So we got the height kind of set where we think it's gonna sit. You really won't know until you lower the car. So this is kind of about the same distance as the other coil where we're sitting. So we're just gonna install it and go from there. Just feed it through the holes like it came out. Come on the top and start some of those 14s. That way it's held up in there. Then you're gonna wanna come to the bottom. You might need a jack for this sometimes, but we're gonna see if you can just lift it up and feed the bolt in. Nope, it's not gonna work. And the camber adjustment is right here also. 
so you should get alignment after you remove this and install your coilovers. But we're just gonna set it to right here to not have that much negative camber since I'm gonna go take it to get an alignment after. All right guys, so that's basically how you install the front coilover. We're just gonna repeat it on the other side and then go to the back sides. saying the camber adjustment is on the coilover to the knuckle. If you have some certain coilovers also have a camber adjustment in the camber plate up top. So these do have them and they are maxed out. So that's just one thing to look out for. All right so we got Maya right there cleaning up the old tires, tire marks. Uh, for the rear coilovers they're pretty freaking easy to install too. There's a 17 millimeter bolt right here holding the bottom coilover to the rear knuckle. Same on the other side. So once you take off that 17, you just get a screwdriver, pop it off. And you'll see the rear suspension will just drop because obviously nothing's holding it. And then... And that's it. And then... <laughs> the backs are kind of a pain in the ass, but in there, it's kind of hard to see with no light, but there's two 14 millimeter nuts holding each back coil over to the car itself. So ideally you would like to have somebody under there so you can catch the original suspension or the coilover, but I really don't care because these rear coilovers are cheap eBay. So I'm just gonna zap them off. So basically to install the coilovers, just go in the reverse order that you removed it. Kind of take some finessing. Alright guys, so that is basically how you can install coilovers. I try to make this video as quick and simple to the point. It's a super easy job, don't be intimidated. Like this is probably one of the easiest jobs you can do on a car. It's just everything's nuts and bolts. And hopefully maybe I broke it down for you to help you feel more confident in doing it yourself and saving yourself some money. So let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know any tips or comments or anything like that that I can improve this video for you guys for future videos. But that's all for this episode. I'm gonna go test drive it, make sure we're good to go. More than likely gonna have to do some right height adjustments, but at least for now we're good with new coilovers. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time guys, catch you guys later. Peace!